So many Ninja Turtles toys, which ones are you gonna buy? Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan. Thank you for joining me for another video here on my channel. And we are gonna talk about Ninja Turtles again because there's been so many new toys. But today, I'm once again gonna focus on what Playmates Toys is doing with the new iteration of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being the Mutant Mayhem universe. Is that what we're calling it now? Uh, because several new action figures have been hitting store shelves. Massive giant pallets have been showing up in Walmarts as we're approaching the holiday season. Absolutely stuffed with a whole bunch of new figures. And well, I bought them. And I want to talk about them. All right, we got a whole bunch of wacky mutants that I am so excited to dive in and open up. But I want to talk about the packaging because as you can see, there's some differences in the way each of these figures are labeled here. So Turbo Cami is from the Mutants Unleashed video game that is just now starting to hit stores. Um, so as you can see, this one's kind of in its own unique packaging. This one kind of goes along with figures like Crabapult, who I took a look at in another video. Turbo Cami was one I had not found yet at that time, so really happy to finally grab her because she is really rad looking. I mean, all the crazy colors on this one, very cool. And then there's this guy, Ray Filet. Man, he was the only missing mutant when the original Mutant Mayhem toy line was released, and I still have no idea why they waited until just now to release him. But it's really cool because they kept consistent, and they kept him in that Mutant Mayhem packaging. So if you happen to be a mint on card collector, he still fits in with the rest of the Mutant Mayhem movie wave, which is pretty nice. So for me, I'm just excited to finally have Ray Filet. Now, all the rest of these are part of the Mutations Mix and Match line, which is really interesting. And we looked at some of these a while back also. These figures have the pop apart feature where you can remove the arms and the legs and the heads sometimes and you can mix and match between figures if that's something you want to do. One of the things that's really weird about these is oftentimes they just come with a random arm or a leg or something from another figure but it's all extra like it's not a build a figure piece so I know that that's really confusing it's just like an extra limb just so that you could do the mix and match feature if you want to. So we got a new Genghis Frog here, uh, which is more inspired by the look of the character from the vintage toy line, as you can see. That's pretty cool. And we also got a new Wingnut, which I think is supposed to also be more inspired by the vintage toy, except the colors aren't quite right on that one, but still a new variant of Wingnut. But better than that, we've got some new mutants here as well. Pigeon Pete is such a long time coming, it's ridiculous that this is like an old school character from Ninja Turtles, and this is the first time we've ever finally gotten an action figure of him. Finally. And of course, he's based on the new Tales of the TMNT cartoon series. He was in that show. Um, uh, the accessories look hilarious, but here you can see he's got a Raphael head. That's just a random Raphael head. I'm also very excited about these guys from the Tales of the Team NT series as well. We've got Goldfin, we've got Lee the Eel. Uh, as you can see, they also have the mix and match thing. So like Goldfin just comes with a random turtle foot and a turtle arm, which man, that just looks horrifying. <laughs> the eel's got a leo head in there i don't know it's crazy stuff mostly i'm just excited for these figures now unfortunately i could not find the third member of the gang which is mustang sally for some reason he has been the hardest one for me to find locally i've been all over the place at all my walmarts where there's like giant displays with these figures crammed in them, but Mustang Sally's been the one that's been hard for me to find, so I'll track him down eventually. I was holding off trying to get him for this video. I never found him, so we're just gonna open these up and look at them just as I have right here. All right, let's go ahead and kick things off with Ray Filet, just because, man, I feel like we've been waiting so long to get this particular figure in the collection. Um, and honestly, I think he looks great. One of the things that's kind of neat is looking at some of the details that they sculpted into his back here, which definitely feels like a direct nod to the way a lot of the vintage Ninja Turtles figures from Playmates Toys were sculpted. There were always weird little details on there that were left unpainted, and that's exactly what we've got going on here. There's a starfish stuck to his back. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what these little strings are right here, but we've also got like 
the six pack can rings, the plastic rings on his back, which is actually a bit sad because <laughs> we know we know now how dangerous those are in the ocean, and there's one stuck to his back. So I think that's kind of fun. And the overall design of Ray Filet I always thought was pretty funny too in Mutant Mayhem because I love that he's wearing a pair of snorkel goggles over his one eye that's not, you know, scratched like the one over here. Um, and then you can see we got the painted details on the inside of this. Now, I do believe that a variant exists where this in here isn't painted. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm accurate on that, but I feel like I've seen pictures of that. So let me know if you have found that version of Ray Filet. Thankfully, mine has the painted design on the inside. I think that looks a lot better there. Now, because of the overall design of his body, he doesn't have a turnable head. I mean, this is all just like one big piece in here. But, you know, the arms are articulated exactly as you would expect for most Playmates. Action figures swivel at the elbow, bend at the elbow. Arms can go up and down and outwards. And then you got those same hinges at the thighs that they always seem to use. Swivel at the knee and a bend at the knee. Nothing at the ankles. You can see he's got like flippers on his feet, but the legs are just all unpainted. So straight blue down there. So there's a lot less paint detail going on down there. He does come with one accessory in the form of this knife. Um, I don't know. I think he's pretty cool looking. He's also nice and big and bulky, exactly like you would expect this particular char character to be, um, the way he appeared in the Mutant Mayhem film. Just really happy to have this guy to finally add to that set of mutants from the film. And speaking of the mutants from the film, here's the new variants of Wingnut and Genghis Frog. Now, Genghis Frog here is definitely inspired by his vintage action figure, which I think makes him very cool. You can see that they put the blue Hawaiian type shirt on him with the little yellow flowers and the little lightning bolt over here. And even his accessories are a direct nod to that vintage action figure. He's got the tongue gun over here, though it doesn't move like the old one. The old one, you could actually pull the little lever on the back and the tongue would go in and out. This is all one solid piece, so it doesn't do that. Uh, he's got the boogie board shield, uh, but this time around they added the little extra thing like the little rope with the clip that would, you know, go around somebody's ankle if they were actually boogie boarding. But in this case, there's no handle on the back of it, so I believe this is just meant to go like around his wrist. And then he would hold it like that. So that differs a little bit from the vintage figure. And then he does have a pair of sunglasses like the vintage figure, which can be removed. You can see there's little pegs that just plug into these holes on the top there. I don't know. I like it. I love that they took the modern design of Genghis Frog and gave him that vintage look with those accessories and the colors and everything. This is also one of those mutations figures. So while his head isn't removable because the body's all one part, you can actually remove the arms. You can see they're just on ball joints there. And you can remove the legs with the feet, which are also just ball jointed down here. So that's what the articulation looks like on this guy. So you'll be able to swap those with other mutations figures. He does also maintain the tongue action feature with a little dial on his back. It kind of just makes the tongue flick. It really doesn't go in and out. So I don't know if mine's like broken or something. It just kind of flicks the tongue around. But otherwise, I do like the look of him with those vintage accessories and colors. Now, Wingnut here doesn't really look like the vintage figure. The vintage figure had a bit of a Batman look going on with grays and blues. Also, obviously, one of the big differences with this version of Wingnut from the movie Movie is that they gave her robot arms rather than like big robotic wings on tiny wings. So that was one of the things that they changed. You can see we do have some cool little uh, robotic parts up on the wings though. And she's got like a black and silver paint deco, which I will say looks pretty cool on here. She's got a jetpack on her back this time, which is pretty cool. And you can see it's removable. And uh, it looks like it did on the first release kind of there, which is really neat. And then we've also got this big larger gun, which is made kind of, of like a pliable plastic. So it's a little bit bendy here. The silver and black does look really nice, but I really love the touch of this yellow belt because that is straight off of the vintage toy. It looks a lot like what we got there. Even the little logo on the front looks like that original version of Wingnut. I think that is so, so very fun. Now, again, Wingnut also is part of that mutations line, so all of the limbs can pop off there. I do believe the head can pop off this one. Yep, so we just got the little ball joint under there that the head can pop off on. So if you want to do some mixing and matching, I mean, it is possible. You can take 
some of these other weird parts, like just like kind of the random limbs that come with the figures, and you can pop them on there if you want to do that. It's really silly looking. Turbo Cammy is a really cool looking mutant. And as I understand it, she's kind of like the main bad guy in that Mutants Unleashed video game. I haven't had a chance to play the game yet, so I don't have personal connection to this character or how she looks in the game or what her motivations are, but I do know this is a really fun looking action figure. Um, you can see she's got like a skirt on and then she's wearing like a blouse or a shirt there that is all ripped and tattered on her body. And one of the things I think is fun is how all of her limbs are a different color. I assume that plays into a chameleon's ability to change colors. So she's got a purple tail, a red leg, a bluish green leg, a dark blue arm, a yellow arm. Then her main body is green with the blue on top. I don't know. The mishmash of colors actually looks very cool on this particular character. And I love that chameleon head with the curly tongue sticking out there. I think it's really fun. Now, the jaw isn't really articulated, so nothing moves there. The tongue is kind of stuck how it is. It does almost look like it's a separate piece on the inside but I don't think it's supposed to be removable because it's kind of stuck up here on the front. I think I'm just kind of popping it out in the back there. Um, the head is articulated, kind of, but it's very weird because of the shape of the body. So I could basically kind of turn the head side to side, but it is a bit hard to do that. Um, she is not part of the mutations line, so she does not have the mix and match parts like some of the others that we've looked at. But otherwise, all of the rest of the articulation functions pretty much like what you would expect out of a Playmates Toys figure in the Mutant Mayhem toy lines. Um, the overall shape of her body kind of means that there's really on only one way to stand her. Like, even though she's got articulated knees, there's nothing in the ankles or the feet. So if you want to keep her standing, you still have to have her in, like, this bent knee pose like this. So she's not the most articulated action figure you're not going to get a lot of poses or anything out of her and she doesn't have any additional weapons but she's cool looking she's a cool looking mutant ah pigeon pete i'm so happy to finally have a pigeon pete in this line it's a shame that we didn't get pigeon pete in the 2012 toy line considering he was a big part of that show as far as the mighty mutanimals are concerned um but here we got this new version of pigeon pete that we've got from the new tales of the teenage mutant ninja turtles animated series you can see he's wearing a bomber jacket eh, very similar to ace duck he even has like a bandolier with little bombs on it almost like egg bombs the way they're shaped so Definitely some Ace Duck vibes, I think, going on here. But otherwise, he does have a very pigeon-like look to his body there, which is very cool. You can see he's wearing, like, these goggles, which are removable. There's, like, a little peg on the strap on the back of the head. See the little peg hole? So I can remove that so I can see his face a little better. You can see his eyes, which are really funny looking. Um, he's a really fun looking character. I mean, they did a good job of translating the way he's animated in the new show to action figure form. He is part of the mutations line, so you can remove all of these parts on here for some part swapping if that's something you want to do. Uh, otherwise, articulation wise, because he's a mutations figure, he actually does have a bit less than you would see. So there's no elbow joint, no wrist joint, no knee joint on this guy. He's only articulated where the parts are removable from those ball joints. So you're not going to get a lot of posing out of this guy either, but just standing on your shelf or playing with him i guess for mix and match he's pretty cool and he comes with the best accessory of all a bird poop covered slice of pizza no joke <laughs> it's a real thing that he comes with bird poop pizza all right so then we've got lee the eel and goldfin from the east river three unfortunately i only have the east river two since i'm still missing uh sally uh mustang sally i really want to get him because he's i love him i thought he was awesome in the show and i love the seahorse look the mutated seahorse i think that's really really cool um but i got these two they're really cool i think they're fun representations i will say goldfin does seem a little large um this is one of those classic classic kind of playmates things where man they don't really go and scale with each other their proportions are kind of all over the place so he is a big chunky figure and he should definitely be a bit shorter he's a little goldfish um he is still part of that mutations line so 
The head comes off. He's got this big giant head, but it is the same size ball joint, so you could do mixing and matching. It makes him have a little bit of a bobble head. Like, it really kind of knocks around quite a bit there. Uh, then you can see the arms are also removable, and the tiny little legs are removable. Again, just like the other Mutations figures, those are the only places he's articulated. He does look really cool otherwise. I mean, it's a great... Uh, representation of the character from the series. I love those crazy eyes there, the little hat on his head. Very, very fun looking character. And then we've got Lee the eel. She does come with an accessory, which surprisingly no accessory for Goldfin, but she's got this gun that has an electricity effect on it, which is really neat looking, because you can see how it goes translucent with that electrical effect that's wrapped around the end of the gun there. Um, she's pretty cool looking. She has to be kind of stood um, hunched over like this, which is going to cause some balance issues because her head doesn't really go down any farther than that. So if you want her to be able to stand where she's looking forward, you kind of have to hunt her down like this. I mean, she is an eel after all, so that's uh, why we got the shape there. You can see her flowery dress underneath her jacket, her leather jacket, or her pea coat, or whatever it is that she's supposed to be wearing there. And of course, she's part of that mutations line as well, so you can remove her head, her arms, no other articulation in the knees or the ankles, but I love the bright colors, and uh, I, I, I can't wait to finish this trio, honestly. Now, these guys also come packaged with the anemones, which were also seen in that same episode. These are also part of their gang, but, you know, they're living under the sea still. Uh, really kind of creepy looking, to be perfectly honest. But here's something surprising. These are articulated at the heads, and you can remove the heads. They're on the same joints as the other figures, which means these can be used for the mix and match play. I mean, for example... Look at this nonsense. Look. <laughs> Here, let's do some more. The hair might be in the way on this one, actually. Oh, that one doesn't work as good. But we could do we could do weirdness like this. I mean, they're not going to stand good, but there we go. We can do that. I mean, this, this is the best right here. So, yeah, you could do all kinds of weird mixing and matching with all of these mutations figures, which is definitely an added bonus if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, and here's the uh, pile of limbs that I got from all of those mutations figures. So, yeah, there's that. So there you guys go. There is my look at several more of these mutant mayhem action figures that are hitting store shelves right now from Playmates Toys. Still haven't found Mustang Sally. I have no idea why that one is so elusive to me here in my area. But uh, all the rest of them, I think, are... They're fun. I think they're pretty fun for what they are. I know these aren't for everybody, but I always like it when a new line of Turtles figures comes out and then we get like a whole new set of mutant characters. Those are always my favorite because it's like, I don't know, we're getting all these new characters and mutants are always the best part of Ninja Turtles. So as always, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We'll be dropping a new video here every single Saturday. Always looking at something on here. Not always turtles, but it's a lot of times turtles. Also He-Man. I like those things. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching, and until next time, my friends.